craft some armor out of, say, creepers, zombies, skeletons, or really just any mob in Minecraft. No, you, you haven't? You never wanted to do that? Well, I don't flip and care because today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do that and literally make armor out of every single mob in the game. Plus, this mod also adds in a couple other strange things like super OP swords and armor and also adds in a bunch of really weird boss battles. Also, guys, I want to add that this video is probably going to be very laggy and buggy because this mod is like super in beta. So a lot of stuff kind of doesn't really work, but I still wanted to show it to you guys nonetheless. So first thing first, let's head into game mode zero and we're just going to hop right into it today. So in this chest right here, you can see that I have a just a bunch of armors that don't really look too great but you can see that this is creeper heads we have blazes endermans skeletons withers and zombie pigments but it doesn't stop there guys we actually have another chest in here where we have like ender dragons and all of those cool things so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to craft those in just a second here so yeah guys also in this chest right here we have some like weird weapons so this mod is kind of just all over the place it adds in the mob armor but it also adds in a lot of other weird stuff like a blaze hammer a bone blade blaze bombs and also is like a, a hammer that does 150 attack damage that drops from one of the bosses so yeah, that's what i'm saying this mod is kind of just all over the flipping place but yeah, we're also gonna be fighting some crazy minecraft mobs including hero brine and something called infernus beast overlord so let's see how that goes but anyway guys before we do start anything make sure to go pound that guy the like button if you do enjoy today's video let's aim for 3,100 million likes that's probably kind of low today so yeah, if we could hit that in like six seconds, that'd be flipping cool. Also, guys, while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. So the first one I want to show you guys today is actually the creeper stuff. So everything that you're going to craft is essentially the same sort of craft recipe. You put the armor in the middle. So you put either the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, or the boots. And then around it, you put these things called soul gems, which I believe can be found throughout your Minecraft world or their mob drops. There's not really too much information about them but basically the only blocks that are different in the craft recipe are the ones on the outside so you can see this one uses gunpowder a blaze will use blaze powder and then so on and so forth so each and every one is going to have a specific little craft recipe so yeah guys if you want to see all the craft recipes you can basically just go check the link in the description to the mod website where you can check out all of them but for right now i do want to try all of them on because supposedly they give you special abilities i'm not entirely sure how accurate that is because this mod is like super early in development but we might as well check it out at least the thing that i know is that they will at least give me some effect so if i look on here yeah you can see that i actually get speed when i'm a creeper like i actually i look like a creeper i, I look like kind of a fat creeper but yeah, still nonetheless, I do indeed look like a flipping creeper and I get some abilities. So we're going to pick out the best one. Like, let's see, mobs definitely probably still attack me. Hey, yep, mobs don't even care that I'm a flipping creeper. Dude, I'm, I'm like one of your own kind. Now, I can't blow up. I don't have any cool special abilities. Hopefully, if because this mod is so like early in development, hopefully in the future updates, he can actually make it so that each and every time you put on a new piece of armor, you get a new special ability. So say I had the full creeper suit on, I would have the ability to say like summon TN or like explode on contact or something like that but yeah, as of right now there's no special abilities that i know of at least it's just kind of cool because you can actually pretty much just look like that mob so it looks like this one yeah i believe i can also fly so some of them have the ability to fly other than that uh yeah there's really no other special abilities but yeah, if you ever wanted to fly around with uh, an arrow in your head as a blaze, I mean, yeah, yeah, now you could definitely do that. It looks like we also get some other stuff such as night vision, jump boost, and fire resistance. So yeah, that is definitely a cool thing that I might be actually adding into a series where we do some mob fights. But yeah, this one basically is just, yeah, kind of just basic blaze. But let's try out the zombie pigment. So let's see, the drop for this is actually gold nuggets. So yeah, every single drop that you're going to get from like a certain type of mob, you can use and craft the armor. So it looks like this guy, I get night vision, speed, and fire resistance. So it's kind of like basic on how you actually get stuff. Essentially, you know, if you're a zombie pigman, you shouldn't really be able to burn. You kind of run faster. And also, there is a specific weapon, I believe, where you can get the zombie pigman's gold sword that does 7 damage, surprisingly enough. 
But yeah, let's just move through these here so we can move on to the boss battles. Here we have a Wither Skeleton. Now, oh, this is actually kind of cool. I get invisibility, which, what the heck? This is kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie, because my head is so big, and it looks like my arms and legs are really tiny. But I like the idea here, because he definitely tried to make it so it looks like as seamless as possible. But yeah, it kind of looks like my arms and legs are like equally far apart, and it kind of just looks funny. But anyway, next up, moving on from the really weird looking Wither Skeleton, let's move on to the regular Skeleton. So yeah, this is the same sort of thing. I get speed, night vision, and invisibility, except and on this one, my arms are really fat, and so are my legs too. Oh my goodness, yeah. This is definitely a super early work in progress mod, but I really like the idea of being able to actually use your mob drops and actually craft armor out of it. So anyway, the last one we have here is an Enderman. Let's see how this bad boy looks. We get jump boost, health boost, and night vision. Now, I wonder if I could teleport somehow. Any special abilities? Nope, can't teleport. Now, I do indeed get a slight health boost as an Enderman, which is definitely kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't look like, no, I didn't get any taller. I'm just a really fat-looking Enderman. So, yeah, anyway, let's head back to this chest right here. We can place all of them back inside because we got through all of them. I am going to pick out my favorite one at the end to actually fight against the mobs with. But, yeah, until that time comes, I haven't really found one that I really like. Probably the blaze, I'm assuming, because I can fly. That's going to be super useful. But, yeah, Bessie, not too good over there. Let's see if these are any better. So, we have iron golem we have an ender dragon which actually is probably gonna be pretty dang good we have a zombie and we also have a witch so let's test out the iron golem first now i'm supposed to get oh yeah a lot of health so that is definitely gonna stay up with the regular iron golem now let's see how i look uh not too bad actually i actually sort of like this one so it looks like we get slowness health boost jump boost and, it, and water breathing i didn't know iron golems could breathe underwater well i guess you learn something new every day but yeah, I think the main thing here going for it is definitely that insane health boost. That is going to be super useful in the future. But let's actually, let's save the Ender Dragon for last. Let's try out the Witch. So let's see. Oh, I get a lot of potion effects. So fire resistance, resistance, regeneration, health boost, and a bunch of speed. What the heck? Witches are not this fast in vanilla Minecraft. And I get a ton of health. Like, okay, it's a little bit overpowered. I'm not going to lie. What do I need to craft it? Literally just water bottles? That's all I need to craft any of this is actually just water bottles and I can literally run around have super crazy health and then yeah that's kind of cool. So anyway next up uh second to last we have the zombie. Now zombie I'm kind of already a zombie and this way yeah it looks like a regular looking zombie just kind of fat arms but still I mean I'm a regular zombie so I don't know why I would ever wear this because I'm half zombie half human so yeah and I only get night vision that's the only benefit is just night vision. So yeah, let's see if the Ender Dragon can do any better. Now, supposedly, as of right now, this does not have a craft recipe, but you get a ton of hearts, and yeah, you can actually fly. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be my choice when I fight some of the mods, because I get a ton of health. I should probably gapple up so that I can fill all the health bars. I can jump around. I can fly around. I'm not that fast when I fly, but still, nonetheless, it's definitely flipping cool, and I also get invisibility, so it kind of looks like I'm an Ender Dragon, sort of, not really. No, 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 ne never mind. All right, guys, but I think what I'm going to do now is actually fight the mods before my game starts bugging out, because I can already see it's starting to lag a little bit just from this one mod. So here we have a blaze hammer, a bone blade, some blaze bombs, which I believe, yeah, you can actually craft these things. It's diamonds, blaze rods, and TNT. We also have an ender dragon slasher, which I might be using because, you know, I'm an ender dragon and that's my slasher. And also, worst case scenario, we have the Dragon Overlord's Hammer. So this is like my super mega attack. If I ever am in doubt or anything like that, or I think I'm going to die, I'll definitely just pop a golden apple and hit it with the Dragon Overlord Hammer. But I think for today, we're going to leave the doggies out of this because I do indeed have a bunch of blaze bombs. So I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally hit you guys. So I'm going to leave you guys out of this just so you can watch for today. But if I head into here, you can see that I have a whole bunch of good stuff. So I think I'm going to keep the blaze bombs. I definitely want to keep the slayer on me just in case anything bad happens. And oh, this thing has knockback, knockback. Actually, I might as well just use the ender dragons thing as my knockback weapon. So yeah, I think we are good to go. Let's grab the first round of boss battles that we're going to be taking on. So the first one we have here is called a Zombie Villager Overlord. Let's see what this guy has to do. All right, what's up, dude? Oh, that did a lot. All right, let's try to use our Thrasher against this guy. Oh my goodness. That's almost as good as the hammer that I use. All right, so let's run around, up and down. There we go. Oh, I'm just going to keep thrashing back. So we might as well just take him out really quick with a Dragon's Overlord Hammer. 
Oh yeah, that thing is gonna be good. So it looks like he actually has some drops. So it looks like he dropped a zombie villager helmet and also a diamond sword. Now I'm dying from all of this poison. How much poison did he actually give me? Looks like poison two for about 30 seconds. So anyway, that wasn't really too bad, all right? We didn't really have too many issues with that guy. But let's move on to, uh, let's do, not here, Brian. Let's do the Creeper King. Let's see. Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? Now, the models on these aren't really good at all. That's what I'm saying. It's not really a super well-developed mod at the moment in time. But holy crap. He just hit me so far up in the air. All right, let's throw some blaze bombs at him. Yeah, let's give him a taste of his own flip medicine. There you go. He, he's not taking a lot of damage, though. Let's try the Ender Dragon's Thrasher. Let's see if I can hit him in this direction. Bam. Yeah, take that. Eh, not a lot. Let's just finish him off right here. And bam. Look at that. Wait, he's not dead? Hold on. Wait, dude. Does he not have a dying animation? Oh, is he gonna explode? What the, oh! What the flip? All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was not prepared for that. All right, so maybe this mod is a little bit better than I expected. Uh, if the models were a little bit better, then maybe the whole entire mod could be better. But I like that dying animation. He kind of just twisted his way into the ground and just exploded a lot. So anyway, next up, let's try a villager guard. So I think this thing is actually a good guy. It will indeed help me. And it's called Papa Treyars. All right, Papa Treyars, fight this pigman king. Oh, come on. You got it. You got it, dude. Yeah, oh, ne never, never mind. Okay, all right, all right, buddy. Okay, back the heck off. All right, zombie pigman, dude. It's just going ham on me. Let's take him out nice and easy. Oh, he actually didn't die. Never mind. He died. But he was the first guy that actually had enough resistance to take the 150 damage. So yeah, that dude was pretty dang easy. Let's see what else we have in my inventory here. I want to save Hero Brian for like second to last just to see how good he is. But next up, we have a zombie overlord. What's that, dude? What's going on? Oh, the poison. Again with the poison. Are you guys actually kidding me? So it looks like these bombs don't do a ton of damage, especially, which is kind of weird because they cost a crap ton to actually make. But let's hit him with the uh, the sword. There we go. And let's hit him with the hammer just to finish him off. Just because I don't feel like dealing with these flipping zombies. Poison me and setting everything on fire. There we go. Now, I'm not really seeing any good drops from all these. I'm not really sure why. But I guess there's like a small chance that they could drop everything. But anyway, let's head back up here and let's see what else we have to fight. So it looks like we have three more things before the actual hero, Brian. So we have the Ender Knight right here. Let's see. Oh, what's going on, buddy? What's oh no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Did he teleport? Hold on. Where is this dude at? Hello, Ender Knight. Is you Oh! Did he just go for Bessie? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you actually flipping kidding me? Are you trying to die? Are you actually trying to die? Yeah. What the heck were you thinking? What the, what? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. But that's how you get automatic Enderman stuff. This dude just went around and was killing all of my stuff. He was probably going to go for my doggies next if I didn't flip and stop him. Okay, that could have been bad. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, let's move down the line. Bessie, don't worry. RIP. You'll be back next episode. Don't worry, Bessie. But anyway, next up, we have the Skeleton King. Let's see. Uh, this is probably how you get that bone sword. Uh, yeah, that's right, dude. You don't, don't even try messing with me, all right? I am not in the mood right now. Bessie is dead. It looks like, yeah, I got the Skeleton chest play right there. I don't even care, though, because everybody is just taking out Bessie these days. All right, whatever. Let's try the Witch King. Uh, Witch Queen, I guess. Okay, I made a mistake there. I'm sorry for assuming your gender. Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? All right, you can chill with that with the lightning, dude. Calm the heck down. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna take you. I can't even see her. I can't even see her. Where is this thing? Oh, there we go. Got her in the face. Guys, I'm really trying to focus here, but I'm a little bit nauseated and I don't really know what's happening. I think. Oh. 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 What was that explosion? What just happened? Uh, guys, what just, um, where is my little pond? Uh, she exploded. The witch queen actually explodes and she blew up my doggies. What was she thinking? Are you actually kidding me? As you can see, my game is starting to glitch out and my dog is getting burned. All right, let's just wrap up this flippant video with all these buggy stuff. All right, so here we have Hero Brian. I probably shouldn't have done that because Hero Brian's gonna absolutely destroy me. Yeah, well, what's going on, buddy? I don't have time for you. What do you want? You want you want to play? You want a little play date? Here, take that bomb to the face. Yeah, that's right, dude. Just take this. I I don't have time for this. Just let me kill you. Let me kill you in the face. Yeah, that's right. You're you're flipping dead. Hero Brian, not even a problem. 
Now, obviously, guys, that's not the real Hero Brian. Okay, that's just a fake Hero Brian. Real Hero Brian would have killed me in like two seconds. But anyway, guys, I think we are ready for the final battle. All right, so in here, I have some mobs. We have some Hulk mobs, which I don't really even know what they are. I haven't spawned them in yet. We also have something called an Infernus Beast Lord. So I think the Hulks might fight the Infernus Beast Lord. But we're gonna see in a second here. So here we have Diamond Hulk and Obsidian. No, why are they fighting? Guys, I kind of needed you to help each other. Okay, maybe they'll team up on the Infernus Beast Lord. Oh, oh, nope, never mind. The Infernus Beast Lord just wants to kill me. And my doggies are actually going after him. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, Hulk, Hulk, guys, I know you guys have your differences. Can you guys just maybe fight the Infernus Beast Lord? Maybe? No? You don't, you know, guys, don't want to do that. All right, well, the constant fire in my face is not appreciated, bro. Yeah, that's right. Get up on my level. All right, I'm just going to take this dude out nice and easy. This is supposedly the hardest thing in the mod, and this is actually how you get the weapon that I have right now by defeating him, supposedly. So let's just take him out really quickly. Oh, my gosh. All this fire is so flipping annoying. Get me out of here. Yeah, can I just get in the water, please? Thank you very much. All right, let's take him out again. Oh, my gosh. You literally get near this guy, and it's automatic. All right, so let's stay in the water. Let's just hit. Let's just kill him with bombs. There we go. Sorry if I hurt you, doggies. All right, yeah, looks like he's actually going for the Hulks now, too. Let's take this dude out. Oh, he's, he's actually doing, like, a lot of damage to me. He has constant damage going around me. Come on, we just need a few more hits on this guy. A few more hits. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Uh, come on. Get, let me get close. There we go. And, yeah, there we go. One more hit. Should be good. And, bam, he is dead. Oh, my goodness, guys. My house has been set on fire. This is easily the most destructive and buggy mod I've ever seen. So I'm going to end all this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy me just getting absolutely wrecked by these Minecraft mobs and all the bugginess, make sure to go pound that guy the like button and comment down below which mods you would like to see next. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Jack, and I will see you all back again tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out.